Hello, movie lovers. As always, I hope you do enjoy the video. Bob for Bob's movie review here, and today we're going to unboxing and review of Bad Boys Ride or Die. This one does include Blu-ray and digital Bad Boys Ride or Die, all new post credit scene. Here's the spine. This one is from Sony Pictures. Non-stop action and laughs. The best bad boys yet. The world's favorite bad boys are back with their iconic mix of edge-of-your-seat action and outrageous comedy. But this time with a twist. Miami's finest are now on the run. When Captain Howard is unjustly accused of a lifetime of drug-related crimes, the bad boys vow to clear his name. Blu-ray exclusive bonus features, outtakes, and bloopers, and deleted scenes. Also includes Will and Martin Chemistry, Legacy and Laughs, The Brockheimer Legacy, Crafting Bad Boys and Beyond, Fights Camera Action, and Partners in Crime. This one is rated R for strong violence language throughout and some sexual references. Um, runtime on this one is 119 minutes. Audio includes English. French 5.1 DTS HDMA, Spanish, English, and French audio description tracks, 5.1 Dolby Digital, and subtitles of English, English SDH, French, and Spanish. Here's the interior. And we get this cool looking Blu ray disc. Now I know someone's going to ask why I am reviewing the Blu-ray and not the 4K. The Blu-ray was sent to me for review, so this is the version I am reviewing. A big shout out to Sony Pictures for sending over the Blu-ray of Bad Boys Ride or Die, the fourth installment in the Bad Boys franchise. This action-packed film sees the return of the iconic duo Martin Lawrence as Marcus Burnett and Will Smith as Mike Lowry. Back on the streets of Miami, ready to take down bad guys in their signature explosive style. But while the film tries to reignite the magic of the earlier entries, it also grapples with its characters aging and evolving in ways that don't always fit the tone fans have come to expect. First things first, the plot. This time around, things get personal for the bad boys. Marcus is now well into his retirement mindset, ready to enjoy the quiet life after years of police work. But he suffers a heart attack that adds an unusual supernatural element to the film. After his near-death experience, Marcus seems to possess some level of invincibility, walking through gunfire and surviving situations that, frankly, stretch believability a bit too far, even for bad boy standards. Mike, on the other hand, is finally settling down and getting married. But his journey in the film is clouded by a series of panic attacks that hint at deeper insecurities. The plot takes a deeper turn when Captain Howard, their longtime mentor and father figure, is shockingly murdered and framed as a dirty cop. This gives Mike and Marcus the motivation to jump back into action, determined to clear Howard's name. What follows is a typical bad boys adventure, packed with insane gunfights, high-speed chases, and of course the trademark banter between Lawrence and Smith. But as fun as it all sounds, there are definitely some moments where the movie feels like it's trying a bit too hard to be both nostalgic and fresh at the same time. Speaking of nostalgia, the film doesn't shy away from referencing the bad boys of yesteryear, with nods to the previous films peppered throughout. Longtime fans will catch those subtle and not so subtle callbacks. But while it's great to see Mike and Marcus back in action, you can't help but notice that the franchise's formula is starting to wear thin. The buddy cop genre has evolved over the years, but Bad Boys Ride or Die doesn't bring much new to the table. Outside of a few eyebrow raising story choices like Marcus's sudden immunity to death or Mike's ongoing anxiety issues. The real saving grace of this movie is its action. When it comes to pure, unfiltered, over-the-top mayhem, Bad Boys Ride or Die delivers in spades. Director Adil Alarbi and Balal Fala have clearly pulled out all the stops, crafting some truly impressive set pieces from fiery shootouts to jaw-dropping car chases throughout Miami's vibrant streets. The action sequences are as exhilarating as ever, and they remind us why we fell in love with these characters in the first place. There's a thrilling final showdown that's sure to satisfy fans of the franchise's high-octane antics. 
And here's where the Blu-ray really shines. The visuals are stunning with the Miami setting looking as beautiful as ever. The Blu-ray's HD transfer is top-notch, capturing the vivid colors of the cityscape. From neon-lit downtown streets to sun-drenched beaches, the nighttime chases, explosions, and gunfights all benefit from the format's crisp resolution, making sure every detail pops. This is one Blu-ray you'll want to watch on the biggest screen possible to fully appreciate its visual flair. Equally impressive is the DTS HD Master Audio Track, which elevates the action to a whole new level. The sound mix is immersive with deep resonating bass during the explosions and gunfights, and crystal clear dialogue even when the chaos is unfolding. Surround sound channels are used effectively, pulling you into the firefights and making you feel like you're right there alongside Mike and Marcus. This is one of those Blu-rays that's as much a treat for the ears as it is for the eyes. However, despite all the fun action and the slick production values, the film's plot does leave something to be desired. The storyline is fairly predictable and the introduction of supernatural elements Marcus's newfound invincibility and Mike's panic attacks feels out of place in what has always been a semi-grounded series. While the comedic banter between Lawrence and Smith still hits the mark, these strange additions detract from what makes bad boys so enjoyable. Action, humor, and camaraderie. This brings us to the larger issue at play. The Bad Boys franchise is starting to show its age. While it's fun to see these characters again, the energy that made the first two films instant classics isn't quite as strong here. The chemistry between Lawrence and Smith is still undeniable, but it can't fully mask a sense of the series might be nearing the end of its road. The movie tries to balance its nostalgic elements with more modern storytelling twists, but the blend doesn't always work. The result is a fun action-packed ride that feels like it's running out of steam. To wrap things up, Bad Boys Ride or Die is an entertaining, fast-paced movie that'll give fans of the franchise exactly what they expect. Explosions, wisecracks, and plenty of Miami sunshine. The Blu-ray presentation is fantastic with vibrant visuals and an audio mix that takes the action to the next level. But as much fun as it is to see Mike and Marcus back in action, the latest installment doesn't quite capture the magic of its predecessors. It's a solid entry, but one that suggests the Bad Boys franchise might be nearing its swan song. For fans, it's worth the watch, and the Blu-ray is a great way to experience it, but don't expect this one to revolutionize the series. I'd rate Bad Boys Ride or Die a 3 of 5. Thanks again to Sony Pictures for sending over the Blu-ray. It was a ride, but not quite the wild one we were hoping for. Does he say it's all worth seeing? But just some dreams. All smoothie 